Thank you, everybody. Thank you, and welcome to a new era here at Grindavik as we properly start life in the new Grindavik Stadium. And the Gadini stand? What the hell? You can't even name a bloody stand after me. This is outrageous. No respect whatsoever. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. Today we start Season 8 in charge. We have so many new players at the club. I'm very, very excited to see what this season holds. And of course, it is our first full season in the new Grindavik Stadium after we sort of debuted against Juventus. It was a bit of a disaster, to be honest. But anyway, this is uh, how we stand as a club today. We start the season against uh, Halka and Grotta, I think it is. Uh, we're going to have a full look at everybody in the squad and see exactly what we're working with. Uh, the media prediction is first this season, we are a professional team still the only professional team in Iceland. Uh, our reputation has gone up half a star, so that's good. Hopefully we'll keep moving that up a little bit. Uh, squad personality is determined. Continental competition, it will be the Champions League, but we're May 14th, so the new season hasn't ticked over yet. It hasn't put us back into the competition. I'm obviously the manager. Uh, Halka Goodmanson is the new captain. He is uh, new for this season and uh, very, very good leadership skills. Bakali is both the vice captain and the key player. And Alex Palacios, is now the hot prospect, one of the uh, new signings this season. Now, I did uh, say that we've got a new stadium, and uh, we can see all the facilities here, 7,703 7, uh, seats. Now, I was trying to check if we have uh, under-soil heating, and we do. So that is, I mean, you'd need it, wouldn't you, really, in Iceland? So, yeah, that is uh, that is good. I'm still a little bit disappointed corporate facilities only average. I would have liked that to be a little bit better since we just built a new stadium. Youth facilities is not giving me the option to update them, which is a little bit frustrating. But anyway, we can't do anything about it. But I'd like, ideally, to get those, uh, those moving up a little bit more as well. But generally speaking, everything is looking good. And uh, if we go and have a quick look at uh, sort of what's predicted for us this season... Now, we've already won, of course, the uh, two pre-season cups, the League Cup and the Charity Shield equivalent. Uh, we are expected, still only expected to finish in the top two places in the league, which is ridiculous. We should be winning the league at an absolute canter at this point, uh, which hopefully we will do again. And uh, with Champions League qualifying in the uh, to the first qualifying round, which we enter into. So there's absolutely no expectation on us whatsoever, which is good in a way, but... You know, I'd like a little bit more respect to think that, you know, come on, Aussie villain, you can, you can do a little bit better than just finish first or second and uh, enter in, you know, get to the round that you go into automatically. But anyway, uh, the league season, though, we are the heaviest of heavy favourites. 1 to 20 or 20 to 1 on, I think, is actually how you say it. Uh, Breeder Blink, Viking up. FH and uh, Folgner are the are the other teams that are up there. They, we, I think there's sort of there is a little bit of a big five, and by big five I mean us and then the other four. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see how how that plays out. Uh, newly promoted sides are not expected to be in the relegation. It's actually the two teams we play today are the favourites relegation, Halker and Grotta. So we'll see how uh, how that gets on. Team of the season uh, again, only two players that aren't Grindavik players. A centre back, which is outrageous. Although uh, Lindgren is a decent player, and I've got to say I don't know who that left winger is uh but i would hasten to add i don't think he's as good as anybody we could put out there so that's that if we look at some of the key players in the league bakali and kadlik our new signing uh, are the two key players so oh no kadlik is out there on the right wheel so say not in the team of the of the the, the the dream team thing if we have a scroll down here we'll have a look at who else is uh, is there do we see any x players popping up here yet doesn't look like it uh no, I don't think so. So, as I say, the issue we're having is I am having a little bit of trouble getting um, getting players to go to to other Icelandic clubs. For whatever reason, they're, they're not coming in for them when I offer our players out for essentially free. And I'm even offering wages in some cases. So, I don't understand. They're all going to Sweden for some reason. That's probably something to do with the league reputation, perhaps. All right. Now, one other thing we do have to do is a little bit of housekeeping is see the goal that you guys voted as our goal of the season last season. So, let's go look in on that. So it was a very good year for goal of the season, I've got to say. Each, uh, each of the candidates I put forward got a, a vote, at least one vote. But that Thomason solo effort was the goal of the season. It always makes me feel better when every goal gets a vote. There's a lot of pressure on me trying to pick out the best four go uh, goals of the season. But anyway, uh, this is the opening round. You'll see IA have already had a game and they've beaten newly promoted poor. Uh, but we are going away to Halka, so we don't get to see the new stadium just yet. 
And this is what we're expecting, a 4-3-3 out of them. And uh, the team we're sending out. Now, this is what I sort of foresee as being a European team, or certainly the formation anyway. So Rafferson, who is the number one now with uh, the departure of Anders Andreasen. Sorry, so he is the goalkeeper. We've got a back three now, three centre-backs of Imanen, who is very, very highly rated. 18-year-old uh, Finnish uh, player. This is our captain. Uh, now, not the greatest technically. The, he's back, basically back here to play on the cover for his mental attribute of, uh, of anticipation. Uh, obviously, good leadership as well. So I'm hoping that he's going to cover up a few mistakes, perhaps, or at least shield the, the goalkeeper or, or marshal the defense as well. Uh, Parisi, who is such a highly rated player in my books, uh, he's going to be the other center back. Now, wing backs, we don't really have wing backs necessarily, but Kidlin, who we signed as a fullback, he is going to go down the right. And Depe, who was on loan again this season, is going to go down the left. And uh, if we have a look a little bit further forward here, Antonio is a deep line playmaker. He's done that role for us many, many times. Uh, Turpinson, he'll be uh, in midfield for us as well. But Carly goes as the number 10. He has been absolutely brilliant in this role in preseason. But yes, it's against lesser opposition in those those cups and whatnot, but he's still done a very good job. And the front two, Gadini, a slight role change for him no longer is he sort of the one man up front to bang in the goals he is the complete forward that's going to hopefully you know and be more involved in build-ups as well and he has done really really well on this role even if he is scoring less he's certainly got a few assists and uh Cadillac is the other one or Cadillac as I've called him and was pointed out <laughs> in the in the uh in the discord um yeah he's going to go up front he potentially is very very good as well now one tactical change that we've made for this season is stay on our feet we are just getting too many bookings too many red cards we're just going to stay on our feet and hopefully we'll uh, we'll stop getting all of those as well. So we've got a bench here, which I'll show you if and when they come on. But uh, a few, most of those guys anyway, we'll get a look in in the second game. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. Ryan Trevitt is still at Halker. He's been there for quite a while now. So... Uh... Yeah, sticking around, which is good. He did go back to England. I think it was at Brentford we got him on loan from. He did go back there after his loan with us, but was released by them and uh, went to Halker and has been there ever since. So, yeah, eight seasons in, he's uh, making a nice little career for himself in Iceland. And, I mean, really, if you're a, if the sort of player that is not necessarily going to, to make it in the top few divisions in England, going to Iceland, I mean, there's worse places to play. It's a beautiful place in the summer. Uh, I've heard, anyway. I've never actually been there outside of the airport. But, uh, yeah. You know, you're not that far away from home. It's it's got to be uh, it's got to be a nice place to play your football. I would have thought, but anyway, um, let's hope he has a terrible time today. And uh, yeah, so I, just as a reminder, what we're going to do today is this is sort of as I said, like what I see as our European team, or certainly formation. Most of the, I think, probably the team as well, to be honest. And then what we're going to do in the second game is go back to sort of last year's formation with the wingers and have a look at uh, sort of the more domestic domestic team perhaps when uh, European football starts but we do have a kickoff highlight are we going to get a very nice start to the season here Depay's got a little bit of space in a wide area he's got forward Cadillac's waiting for him in the middle but it's cleared away Imanen picks it up back to Antonio out to Depe again is he going to whip in a second cross again it's away he's going to get a third chance he is and it is again away Gadini back to Turpert and is he going to unleash he goes back to Kidlin in there for Bacali who just pushes it past the post but what a start to the game that has been but Carly now with a corner. Gets it in towards the back post. It's headed away. Depe will pick it up. Depe gets it back in. Oh, it's gone through everybody. Cadillac has got a touch. Has he? He's going to be offside. Oh, I think he is. Now, the big question here is, would it have gone in anyway? You'd say no. It's going wide, isn't it? He's, he's hit it in. That might have been. Well, the goalkeeper probably would have saved it. So, it's not really, uh, yeah, not really a, a, a stuff up on that sense. He's tried to... Uh, was it Nugent, wasn't it, did that for him? <laughs> uh, anyway, Kidlin ball in, cleared away. It's a goal! Oh, Gadini heads it just uh, just wide. But uh, there is certainly... Well, it's all one-way traffic, isn't it? You'd hate to be sitting behind uh, the Halka goal for this half. But Carly gets it forward for Gadini. It's cleared away. And Turpinson tracking back magnificently. Oh, is that a foul? He stuck the boot in, you could see. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up. That's the main thing. Depe picks up a poor clearance. In for Bacali. Oh, it's a penalty. Trevitt has uh, just clattered into him. And Kedlak now with a chance to get his league tally underway. Is he going to be able to stick it in? Oh, no, he's missed it. And he's a very good penalty taker as well. So that's not ideal. 
Bacali now with a corner. Can we make quick amends? No, again, it's headed away. Depe, can he get a ball forward? It's a little bit of a deflection and pops up. Parisi can't do much with it. If we're going to say for 70-odd percent possession that we've had, they're clinging on here, aren't they, quite well? Now, what we don't want is, having not scored, is to get frustrated, and we can already see a little bit of that happening. We do just need to uh, keep level heads. And uh, the missed penalty may have just knocked the wind out of us a little bit. Imminent wins the header, as he will do most times. This short, uh, the, the main flaw in Imminent's game, as we would have seen from the attribute, if you were looking at the right place, and... Uh, well, that's a decent strike from Trevor, isn't it? Uh, Imminent's pace is the is the main issue. I don't know if it was Rafferson's error. I, that's a bit harsh, I think. Could he have just caught it is maybe the question. Punching it did look a little bit harder than catching it. But I think that's as much as anything as just a good strike, isn't it? To catch it that well and keep it down. I'd say uh, credit to the, to the man who's... Uh, Who's whacked that in? Who, of course, learned everything he knew. Jesus Christ, guys. We are absolutely falling a little bit in a heap here. We've missed the penalty. Had a goal ruled out for offside. And we've just decided we're a terrible team. Apparently, oh, but Parisi. His third of the season already. First in the league, of course. And that is 1-1. And I think we really needed that goal, didn't we? It was just a risk of starting to fall away from us. He's very, very good in the air, is Parisi. And he showed it there for his third of the season. Let's give him some encouragement. Can we get ourselves back ahead before half time? We've had 11 shots, two on target. One of those was the missed penalty. The other was the goal. That suggests we just need to... Uh, we're getting a number of shots. I, I'm not pleased with it. We need to uh, we need to get shots on target, don't we? But anyway, we're creating chances. So let's try and be a little bit positive here. Essentially, we've dominated the game. So I don't think we need to panic too much. But uh, we don't want to be dropping points first game of the season, that's for sure. Especially to, to the favourites for relegation. Uh, all right, Cadillac is maybe just having a bit of YouTube freeze. We'll get Hal Dawson on to play in place of him up there with uh, Gadini. And Bacali now over a free kick. Can he bend that in? Oh, that didn't look very far away, did it? Interesting that he's taking that uh, and not Turpinson, who's usually taking a lot of those free kicks. There's a ball forward for Hal Dawson. The goalkeeper's done well. And they get it forward quickly. Parisi should have that covered. And can we build from the back here and uh, and get ourselves forward? Now, the transfer window is still open. I don't, I'm not expecting to do anything. Oh, there's a good ball. Gadini to Bacali. We've seen that all through pre-season. And Bacali with maybe a little bit of help from Boot. He uh, could say he has his goal-scoring boot. <laughs> and uh, it's 2-1. Little bit of luck on this one. But Gadini to Bacali. Bacali making that run for that through ball from Gadini. It's been a feature of our preseason. I don't know. Did Boot actually get a hand uh, or a foot on it? Did he get a boot on it? I'm not sure. It didn't go in cleanly, though, did it? Maybe the goal sort of got caught under the goalkeeper's arm or something. But anyway, we've taken the lead. 20 shots we've had on goal. It really shouldn't be close. Uh, Depe is not having a great game, but we're kind of past the point of uh, being able to bring players on for match experience purposes. Ball in. It is. Oh, was it Gadini? It was Gadini. And it goes just past the post. We'll keep praising them. I mean, in a way, it's not been convincing. In another way, it's been absolutely dominant. We might need to do some work on chance conversion, <laughs> but 2-1 in the end. And I think Halka will probably be just about happy with that, won't they? Because it could have been a hiding. It'll help their goal difference come the end of the year. But rusty, but not too bad. So for once, we're not top of the table. Um, but I suspect we'll go back there relatively soon. But it wasn't, a, it wasn't a great performance, was it? It was, yeah, like I said, it was rusty. The basic build-up play was quite good. But there was definitely a lack of uh, cutting edge from us. But a goal and an assist from Bakali. Uh, and if you did miss the transfer special, he has signed a new deal without any... Uh, without any um, release fee, which is good. Turpinson backs me to get a new contract. It must be out at the end of this season, is it? That's fine. They'll be absolutely lunatics to sack me. Uh, all right, wait right there. We'll switch up the 11, and we'll come back and face Grotta. 
Okay, welcome back. Now, you may not be able to tell, but several weeks have passed. This is the, my first bit of recording after the computer issues. Uh, so, last, hopefully the first part there was is fine. And I have no idea what I've said. I barely remember the score. Uh, I think we won, didn't we? And uh, I don't remember is there anything I've said. So, if I, re if I repeat myself, I apologize. Uh, yeah, but this is, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I've had to also change to where I'm recording. So, if the lighting and sound is a little bit different, uh, I'm working on it. I'm sort of, when I, I had to reset the computer, computer uh, basically I lost all my settings so there's stuff that I forgot that I'd added and uh, all that kind of stuff so yeah new setting new room new <laughs> everything and uh, let's have a look at our team we're facing Grotta we must have won the first game because we've got three points and uh, let's have a look here and see what we're doing we're expecting a 4-4-2 out of them and uh, this is the team we're sending out so it's uh, Rafferson in goal it's Alvarado uh, he is going to be playing at left back. Uh, we've got Handy Mortensen, one of the club players, of course, next to Gull, uh, who is uh, one of the new signings for this year. And Astadi, of course, a full-time member of the team now. Uh, Jonsson, he's going to be the deep line playmaker for this one in the uh, in the uh, who's he? What's, I can't even remember player names now. The, the Spanish guy that plays there, Antonio, Antonio. Ingbeson is going to have uh, go in midfield with uh, Olmarksen as the advanced uh, playmaker. Over wide right, it's going to be Svensson. It'll be his first uh, league appearance for us. It'll be Thomason playing over on the left. And, of course, one of the superstars of the academy, Hol Dawson, will get uh, the start in this one. And, uh, yeah, well, let's go and see what we do. Okay, so we can see the team sheets here. Uh, do you recognize too many names there? Santos has scored against us before, uh, and that is pretty much it in terms of uh, traumatic memories. Uh, match we should be winning, let's make sure we do. Uh, all right, we can get on board with that. Now, I did actually play this game uh, where I recorded it when uh, everything started to go tits up. And uh, I couldn't use the recording, obviously, because it was choppy and just, I mean, it was unwatchable, basically. Uh, so what I did is I didn't save the game after I'd finished uh, playing. And uh, we actually, we won that one. I can't remember. We, we did win it. I think it was 3 or 4 nil. So, um, yeah, just, I guess, you know, full uh, disclosure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll see how we go here. I don't think it counts as save scumming if you do, if you do it after you win, does, does it? So uh, yeah, there we go. That's uh, That has happened. But uh, new stadium, of course. Got to remember that, which is nice. And um, yeah, it is obviously just good to be back. Um, yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm trying some sound settings here. I've tested them as best I can before recording. The issue, I think, is that it's difficult to... Uh, I don't know, record without... Oh, oh, it's in! It's in! And Hull Dawson has got an eighth of the season. Not the greatest goalkeeping. And, uh, yeah, well, there we go. That is a very, very good start to the game. Four minutes in. Oh, sorry, not even that. Three minutes and third minute of the game. Bit of a poor defensive header. In Mason wins it back. Hull Dawson, uh, it's goalkeeper through his legs, essentially, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, but there we go. Now, a reminder with the kit clash here, we have the yellow on our tops. They're wearing yellow socks. Um, so that's, uh, that's there's no real easy way to tell them apart, but that is essentially how you do it. Uh, it's, this is why I tend to not show these games. Hold Dawson, if he's onside, it's got a ninth. I'm not sure if he was. No, he is. And Svensson has uh, got himself an assist, earning that seven grand a week that I'm paying him for some inexplicable reason. Um, yeah, I mean, there's... I did actually go on uh, when we got first sort of first got the computer. It got to the point where like it was blue screening. It, it actually it, it got a lot worse before it got better. Um, but yeah, I do have to thank my wife who uh, I wouldn't be doing YouTube anymore if it was down to me. She ba I, I she taught herself computer science. I don't know how she did it, and we basically uh, stripped everything all the way back like the factory settings, and then she had to do something else because if you reinstall Windows, it installs over the top, and it wasn't fixing it. We still don't know exactly what the issue was. We think it was a driver, uh, potentially and most likely a graphics card driver that was just incompatible to everything, apparently. And then we couldn't uh, we couldn't get rid of it. But we'd installed an antivirus. Oh, it's off the post for his hat trick. Um, yeah, we'd installed an antivirus and we'd sort of done everything that it said that, that we should do in terms of updating drivers and stuff. A study. No, 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 no. Okay, it's just a card. That's fine. Um... Yeah, and oh, just to say, I don't, I don't, we don't understand what's happened. Ultimately, we just made the decision to just get rid of everything, and uh, and sort of start again. And that's why, like I say, hopefully, I've got the sound back. If you've been watching uh, the the baseball series, um, I've been doing my best. So I just get a pop up from Steam. Then I'm gonna have to turn that off again as well. Stuff like that. 
done that you just forget you've done. Um, so yeah, we tried to we tried to keep as many. Oh, in race, and that is a stunning little volley to make it three nil in the 39th minute. And uh, well, the uh, the kids. This is the, the team that's going to play in the league when sort of European football starts up. They're uh, certainly making a good fist of things. A little floated ball in for more marks in, and that is a stunning volley from Ingvason. Very, very nicely done indeed. So, uh, so yeah. Anyway, the, the important thing is that we're back. Everything appears to be working properly, and uh, I'll chip away at make, getting the quality back to where it was. Uh, not necessarily me, because we all know that there is no quality for me. I don't know what you got. <laughs> watching to be honest but uh, in terms of sound and lighting and stuff like that uh, the reason I moved to where I was recording is uh, my son is uh, getting to the point where he needs his own room to sleep he's I think almost four months or just over four months now so I gave up my office so he could have his own room and I've moved into the master bedroom in the corner so yeah I've sort of got myself taped in here with blankets trying to cut down on echoes and and all sorts of stuff <laughs> I wish I could show you, actually. If you could see behind the curtains, it's a very unprofessional environment, which, uh, yeah, probably suits suits me, doesn't it? As uh, here we go with Grotta coming for, I tell you what, Santos, that's a goal. Um, it's difficult to take that away from him. We don't want to see any more of that, though. And uh, Ingvason will be annoyed because he's lost his best goal of the game. I would imagine with the back of that one. That is a very, very good strike. Not much Rafferson could do about it. It wasn't right in the corner, so you could maybe point a little bit of a finger at him, but I think that would be a little bit harsh. It was a very, very good goal indeed. But we come straight back. Can we restore our three-goal lead, or are we going to actually go and uh, make a game out of this yet? Mortensen wins it back nicely. Chips forward there from goal. Can we win it with Ormarks? And we can. Can we play Hall Dawson in? Certainly not yet. Thomason. Back to Ormarkson. Ormarkson for Hall Dawson. He turns. He finds Svensson. Svensson's in. Svensson scores. Ludwig Svensson's first for the club. And instant reply, which is what you like to see. And uh, it's 4-1, and that should kill off any spirit that they have left in uh, terms of thinking of a comeback. But nice ball from Paul Dawson. Svensson with a good run and a good finish under the keeper's arm as well to make it 4-1. Now we could look at, oh, we don't need to see another replay of that. We could look at bringing on some subs here. We do have a relatively young bench. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'll have a think about who I'd like to take off. Thomason not having a great game, which is surprising because he's, he should be quite good. Um, here we go now. Can he keep himself on the field? Alvarado, there's a good ball for Allmarkson. Can Allmarkson, he goes back post to Svensson. Svensson takes it forward and Hall Dawson. I think it might have been his knee, but it doesn't matter. It's a hat trick. And uh, I tell you what, I don't know if uh, if we're going to see, what's his face, uh, Gudini with gold, the golden boot this season. The form that, uh, that uh, Hall Dawson is in, and if he's going to play most of the league games as well, then was it? Oh no, it was a clean finish. I apologise. It looked a little bit, it would have been me if it was me. Would have been an air swing if it was me. <laughs> but it certainly wouldn't have been off the boot, that's for sure. Alvarado whips across in, it's blocked, it's deflected, and it is cleared away. And here come Grotta the other way. Are they going to whack in a second here? Oh, that's offside, isn't it? Surely that's offside. Ref? Yeah, I was going to say. Not, the, not uh, Santos who got the goal, but certainly this guy here is a mile off, isn't he? Oh, he's... <laughs> Did he celebrate? Did any of them celebrate? I should have had a closer look. If you've celebrated that, you should hang your head in shame because it was never even close. Uh, all right, Is it, we, we've got some time before uh, we can not make changes. Well, we can still make changes, but uh, in terms of getting development uh, credit for it. So we'll bring on the young right back. We'll bring on one of our young centre backs. And... Which good Munson is this? Is this our guy? This is the one that came through our academy. So we'll get him on. I don't know how many changes we can make, actually. Can we do one more? Svensson's had a good game, but we'll get our youngster on. And, oh, we can make five changes. So we'll do that. Nothing personal, Collar, but I'd rather give the other guys some game time. I think Collar, the thing is, will start his share of games. Um, they've all would have preferred to stay on the bench as well, so... You're welcome, guys, for the game time. As Dagba Jarson loses out. 
and here come Grotta again. There's an argument to say we would have been better off against their 4-4-2 playing, you know, the, the, the other formation, but uh, this was all about just sort of having a look at the full squad and seeing what we've got, and I think we can say that, yeah, from what I remember, the first game two weeks ago wasn't completely impressive, but a bit of a new team, and Dagfer Jassen gets his second of the season. It's a first ball in the league, and it is 6-1 as we enter stoppage time. Uh, yeah, so it was a little bit of a scrappy performance but that should get better the more they play together. But the kids have come out at home and they've put on a nice little display here for us. And apparently we're not done yet. There is, what, 65 seconds or so to go? No, two minutes to go. So 120 seconds to go. All Markson has read that like a book. Can we get another one here? Thomason, he's got All Markson completely unmarked. He eventually finds him and All Markson. Gets a third of the season. I thought Thomason had messed it up. But it's seventh heaven for Grindavik. And uh, can we get an eighth before uh, stoppage time comes to an end here? He had to play it there, didn't he? He's gone too far, and he just about got away with it. A, uh, a more selfish Hall Dawson might have uh, looked to barge or marks out of the way there. But anyway, job done. Goal scored. And uh, that is a very, very nice win indeed. 7-1 as uh, we welcome the series back and hopefully well yeah that's uh, very oh uh, you know what we've got to say is that uh, don't get uh, don't get too comfortable so there we go unsurprisingly we go top of the league on goal difference actually no it's it's clear top uh because other teams have dropped points there breeder blink and fh have a chance to join us on six points uh, but I'd be surprised if they bettered our goal difference. So there we go. Hall Dawson sends Grindavik top. Alvarado's got a bruised ankle. He'll be fine. Thomason, a little bit disappointing there. I'd like to see him develop a little bit more. There is certainly room for him to grow. So we'll do our best. But uh, yeah, you wonder a little bit if maybe he's not going to quite uh, not going to quite develop. But there's no real that I can remember anyway. I don't really remember some of our kids. But it's, there's not too much coming through uh, as a left winger behind him. So he should uh, certainly get the chance for a little while there. But uh, the odd boss is looking at one of our boys. In Basin, he would have liked that goal he scored. It's 10 unbeaten. And guys, that will do it for today. The long-awaited return has happened. What we'll do is we'll come back, I think, for... The Selfos game in the Cup, now a reminder, Cup games are just our Academy players. And then assuming we win that, we'll, we'll sort of go for the for the next round. I should have time to be able to do that. Uh, and if we were to lose it, then we'll come back. We'll face AI away and, uh, yeah, be a little bit disappointed with ourselves. But European football just around the corner. And uh, I am looking forward to that. Take care.